so I'm officially starting wedding week vlogs and this feels so weird to not be sitting in my room and to be talking to you guys. I'm actually at my parents' house right now. So I figured since today is gonna be so freaking busy that we would start the vlogs today and I wanted to show you all of the madness that is happening. We have to completely redo the seating chart. Um, we had two very important people kind of drop out that were sitting at a head table. Not even gonna get into it, but we have to redo the whole thing. And instead of writing the names, we're cutting the names on my mom's silhouette machine. So they're gonna be final. Got the wrong, just lots of stuff. But I wanted to show you guys, look at this. Just like, look at this room. This is all of the wedding stuff that we have. Um, and like, you can't even see all of it. Like there's some back here behind the door like that's all our signs that wood thing is my or the um cardboard thing is my bridal portrait I mean it's just crazy but we're doing a lot of it ourselves I did write a blog post on how to organize wedding decor that will be linked in the description bar below and then these are all of the gifts we have about four million of them all of the bags are groomsmen gifts the boxes with the hangers are bridesmaids these are Sam's little brother's gifts, and then these are my aunt and grandmother's gifts, and then I still have to wrap my mother-in-law's and my grandmother-in-law's gifts today. And then it comes out here. <laughs> this is all the bar stuff, and the liquor, and the drinks, and the mixers, and all that. So there's just, there's wedding stuff everywhere. All right, so I look a little mess. I don't think you guys have ever been this close to me, and I am in this messy room upstairs that is my mom's, but we went and got the little silhouette machine like piece that we were missing. Um, and so we actually took like 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to get back because we live in Narnia. And so we had to go get that. And now my mom is downstairs and we're printing every single name out on vinyl sticker. And then we will um, put it all in the mirror. I don't know why we're doing it that way, but we just are. But I wanted to show you guys something amazing at my dress. So my mom had, like does crafts and all that stuff. So she's got this like room upstairs that's just full of craft supplies. And my veil had gotten kind of wrinkly and her dress is in this big orange bag here. And then that's the thing I'm wearing under my dress. But we wanted the veil to like get unwrinkled on its own. And so, oh, is it just not the prettiest thing ever? And then what you can't see, I've gotta move my dress. I mean, there is my dress, it's hanging because we're also trying to get the wrinkles out of that. And of course we will steam all of this, but we wanted to just see if kind of laying it all out on its own could get the wrinkles out and it did. So definitely recommend doing this the week of your wedding. I'll also show you guys, so these are the robes that I got all the girls. I know that I told you guys in my gift guide video for bridesmaids that like we were getting them hangers and they're so cute. My mom made these and that's gold and it says bride. And then we got all of the girls white cotton waffle robes. So I wanted to lay it down to show it to you a little better. I'll link these below. I got them off of Etsy. They were actually super affordable. Um, and she just did all of the bridesmaids. We all got white robes and then we all got like gold names and it's all the first name. I'm so glad I did that because one of my bridesmaids, Hannah, just got engaged. And so her last name will be changing. And then I've got my earrings, which are so pretty. And then my little garter. So if you are watching this video, that means that you have finally seen pictures. I'm a married woman and you know that the bridesmaids dresses were white. So that was an easy decision and I'm going to make a whole separate video on why I decided to go with white bridesmaids dresses. And I'm really like happy with that decision. I think it's a great decision. And so that's why all the robes are actually white. I told you guys it's so they could all wear the robes on their wedding day. Um, but actually I got all the girls white robes because we're all wearing white dresses, including my mother. And you probably know that by now because you've seen the pictures, but I am gonna make a video on that explaining why I decided to do it. Um, was a really special and really cool thing. So that's pretty much it for this. I do want to show you more of the wedding stuff because it's just all over the house. I'm not even kidding. Guys picked up their tuxes today. Joanne. Or a few days ago. And then got my mother-in-law's gift. My grandmother-in-law's gift. Just busy, busy. You want to say hey? Hey, don't show me. Okay. When I do cut all the notes. That looks like Daniel. It looks like A N I E O. But it's, it's Samuel. 
there's your number, Mary Sue. Are you taking the video? Will you tell me so I'm safe? Sunday. It's officially wedding week and I am so excited. So I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. Um, still new to this whole vlogging thing. So I'm starting it today. I just finished getting ready and I'm about to head out. Sam graduates at 930 today from Walford College and the doors open at eight and it's literally every man for himself. So I've got to put on my lip color. My parents are on their way here. I am so excited. I'm going to take you guys along with me because although it's not wedding stuff, it's still I mean, obviously my groom, my husband-to-be is graduating and that's really exciting. So I just wanted to bring you guys along and I'll see you in a little bit. Matthew Randolph Ransom. Go, Matt. Aaron Lee Ress. Good job. I'm proud of you. Samuel Jessup Robinson. That's my man. Charles Philip Rouse Jr. I'm proud Aaron of you, Sanders. babe. Hello again. So it has been probably, last time I probably talked to you guys was about 10 o'clock this morning um, when Sam was actually walking across the stage to graduate. So it's been a long day. It is 7.18 now. Um, it's still Sunday. So basically I got up at like five this morning, got ready, got there. We went to his graduation. It started at 9.30, finished about 12 o'clock. He graduated from Walford College and then we went out to eat. And by the time we were finished, it was like three o'clock. And I am so exhausted and um, my lashes, like my lash extensions that I got the other day have really been itching. So I'm just like frustrated. So I just had to take a nap, but I actually have to go today and finish up the seating chart. We're redoing the seating chart. Don't know if I've told you guys that. I think I filmed some of it yesterday. Um, we're completely redoing the seating chart because we had some people um, just skip out on us and so I've got to go finish that up today with my mom and then I've got to come home film a YouTube video and then also start packing for the honeymoon so I don't know if I've really explained a lot of what's happening I really hope this vlog turns out well I've never vlogged before but just to kind of explain what's happening this week tomorrow you guys will actually see still in this vlog um, our best friend is getting engaged so he has a birthday party tomorrow and his girlfriend, his sweet, sweet girlfriend, has been planning what she thinks is his surprise party for about a month. Um, he called me about a month ago. I was like, hey, I really want to uh, plan a surprise party for myself. And I was like, buddy, that's not how that works. And he was like, no, 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 I'm going to ask Kaylee to marry me. So he's actually been in on the whole thing. And um, so she's planning his surprise party. And tomorrow he will ask her to marry him. And I am so, like stupid excited about that. I cannot even contain it. The boys are going to play foot golf in the morning and I'm just like so giddy. I cannot even focus. I'm so excited for him. He's been talking about asking her to marry him since December and then we've really been talking about how it was going to go down um, since February and so for it to be like actually happening and actually here it feels so weird but I mean it feels just as weird as like this wedding is actually happening so I'm very excited but I am going to take you guys along with me um, for the rest of the day and tomorrow hopefully everything turns out and then that will finish the first vlog for wedding week and then I will start another vlog for again on Tuesday so let's just get going because we're running out of daytime okay so this is where we are on the seating chart so we've got all of the names and then we've got to do, we have to make a K. We forgot about that. And then we have to do the top part. We're putting our name up here. And then the head tables will all go right there. So that's all we really have left for the seating chart. And then it is done. So it is officially Monday morning. I don't think I've vlogged at all today. 
Um, it's 12.15. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I actually am working all week. So many people are like, how? Well, because honey, the world doesn't stop because I'm getting married and bills don't just get paid on their own. So I'm working until Thursday at 12 o'clock at my normal job. And then I will be out um, until the following Monday um, when I get back from my honeymoon. So I just am on my lunch break. I sit in my car because I don't, I don't like to deal with people in restaurants. They're very, very rude to servers. And having been a server, I don't take well to that. So I sit in my car and I figured I would just kind of tell you guys what I've been doing today. <clears throat> so it's actually a really good time right now. June is a really busy time for my job. I'm an interior designer for commercial. And so June is like, June 30th is really the date. So everybody starts picking up at June. So for some reason, there's like a slow spot right now. So it's great. Um, I've been working, but I have had some time to get some wedding stuff done. So I printed some things out and I just wanted to show them to you guys. Um, these are the forms that I'll take with me on the day of the wedding and I'll keep them all in my notebook. And I printed out two copies. So like my coordinator has a copy and then I have a copy and my mom actually has printed out a copy of her own as well. So just gonna show these to you guys. All right, so this isn't the best angle, but it's just gonna have to do. So I have this whole stack of paper here and the first thing that I'm gonna be taking my coordinator has. So this is the I Get To Love You song, the song I'm walking down the aisle to. And this is all of the bridesmaids cues for just in case it rains because the mark actually is like perfect. Like the spot that the girl's like, okay, she's at this spot. So now it's my turn to go. It works out perfect like this, but just in case it rains, like I want to come out on this part of the song, which is so stupid, but whatever. Um, so I have cues for the rain plan. Also included is the list that I showed you guys on my wedding schedule video um, of all the bridesmaids and groomsmen and how they'll be paired. Then I have the officiant script, which I had to basically create by myself because there is nowhere online that tells you how, which is really frustrating. And um, we're not having like our preacher or anybody do it. I have a day of duty list. This was super important because I had so many people offer to help with the wedding that I was like very overwhelmed with how much help we had and I didn't want people to be confused and all over the place and not know what they're doing. So I assigned certain people to certain things, printed out two copies of that. Then I have a packing list for the wedding day. That's for me. This is also the timeline that I showed you guys on that video. Um, I have to give this one of my bridesmaids today and I wanted a copy just in my notebook just in case. And then finally the like big, big final uh, schedule from my coordinator. So that was just like a quick flip through of all the papers that I have. Um, I wish I could show you guys this whole schedule that my coordinator made in detail. However, I signed a contract that I would not share that because it's hers and she made that template. And so, so that nobody else steals it, I can't share it, um, which is, you know, obviously understand understandable but these are just all the papers that I've printed out and I'm going to keep them in my notebook and it's very overwhelming that's really all I've got for today um, I'm leaving work at four and then we're going to my friend's birthday party and he is going to be getting engaged and I will vlog all of that for you guys don't worry you won't miss it and although it's not my wedding stuff it is going to be really cool to see and have that vlog forever and I am so so excited mm, I can't wait oh that's going I'm putting I'm putting it on YouTube <laughs> Getting ready for the surprise.
Oh, look at that ring. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing out this vlog looking a hot mess express. I just got back from Kaylee's and she said yes. As you guys saw in the video, I don't know if you could hear anything, Steven mumbles, but that's okay. Um, we are so excited and so happy for them. So we actually had to come back and kind of start getting our house together and start packing for our honeymoon. So that is going to finish out my very first vlog for wedding week. I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.